to my channel. Tickets are now on sale for Inside Out 2. And to celebrate, Pixar has released some new clips from the movie. Firstly, Pixar revealed the full scene of Anxiety first arriving in headquarters, most of which we have seen before. A new part of the scene is Anxiety telling Joy that she is a big fan of hers. This shows that Anxiety really loves Riley, even though she is playing a somewhat villainous role. Anxiety then comments that she is meeting Joy face to face. We now know that the new emotions emerge from this anger-shaped door, so I presume that they have been watching Riley's life from that location. Another new part of the scene involves Anxiety telling Joy all of the things that she can do to help with props. She says, I can take notes, get coffee, manage your calendar, walk your dog, carry your things, watch you sleep. Joy says, wow, you have a lot of energy. Maybe you could just stay in one place? And Anxiety replies, anything. Just call my name and I'm here for you. This sequence really indicates the usefulness of Anxiety that Amy Poehler talks about in this interview. And Anxiety shows up and Joy um, thinks, oh, this might be great. You know, Anxiety likes to get stuff done. She's a hard worker. She's always paying attention. But then she soon learns that Anxiety can get in the way of um, like she can kind of shut things down too early. She can have Riley make choices that Joy doesn't think are right for her. So they, a struggle literally ensues. Anxiety is actually not always a bad thing, right? It's an, like an, um, um, an emotion that can tell you a lot about something. It, it can be a very active emotion. It can, you know, feeling excited about something and anxious about something can have the same physical feelings. So they're, they are cousins sometimes in a way. And so joy and anxiety have to work together. Secondly, in a video about tickets going on sale, we see Val and her friends talking about Riley behind her back. Riley overhears them triggering intense feelings of anxiety. Val seems to be an aspirational character, described in the Art of Inset Out 2 book as a first-generation Cuban-Mexican-American with a supportive family who excels in school, captains her team with devotion, and aims for an Ivy League dream. Val holds herself to high standards, always striving for perfection. This teenager with short hair is named Danny, and she is Val's bestie. Danny is the enforcer of her team. She is described as strong and confident, pushing the boundaries on ice, but kind and loyal to her close friends. Thirdly, we see the emotions executing Joy's super high-tech Riley protection system. Disgust finds a memory of when Riley waved at a guy who was actually waving to a girl behind her. Joy gets handed the memory orb, saying, oh, that was bad suggests throwing away a memory of Riley forgetting a girl's name. Joy agrees, saying, yeah, that was super awkward. Discuss questions what the girl's name was, and Joy unsure says, I don't know, Janet or something? Whatever, let's just get rid of it. Joy then puts four memory orbs into a canister and propels them out of headquarters, saying we keep the best and toss the rest. Fourthly, in one promo, there is a new scene of Riley trying on a rainbow top and it not fitting. She wore this same top in the original movie. A fifth new shot is of a Riley balloon. She is dressed like a judge and is holding a gavel and a scroll with the scales of justice on it. Fear, anger, joy and disgust are hanging on to the strings of this balloon. Anger says it's a brainstorm and then we hear thunder and lightning and see a mass of green clouds. These clouds have multicolored bulbs of light among them. These bulbs hit anger in his eyes and mouth. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it, please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.